we at Woodneedo are a group of architects who have always believed in sustainable development and architecture that is upcoming and is a very foreseeable future of the architecture in India and throughout the world. And we at Woodneedo strongly believe that development of low carbon footprint buildings is a very important thing for the future that is to come. As we live in today's world, there is enormous amount of non-sustainable elements used. We want to create an impact in that factor and that segment. So that is the core principles of Woodneedo. I was personally involved in making every aspect of this house by my own hands. We as a team of architect, me, Nishok and Vivek, we do that. We do it hands-on and then work. We have this home is like, uh, consists of a living room, a loft space, two bedrooms with two bathrooms. And one powder room and a spiral staircase. When you walk in, I have uh, given this enormous high 13 feet windows for a lot of natural light to come in. So the whole space feels elevated and has a very fresh feeling. I've used a very light and normal color tone and I've kept it natural. So the whole aspect of design is seen and you feel comfort that you are in the nature, you're not away from nature, number one. Number two is everything you see here was built, designed with specific integration for the use of it. Like the spiral staircase, it took me almost around say, 25 days to build this staircase. Every staircase you see was made individually and had to come here and get fit. One of my bedroom is a, I've kept it a natural theme bedroom. I didn't use heavy elements like, you know, dark colors. I used light colors, postal beds, white, more of space, more of light. That was one of my bedrooms and the master bedroom. Master bedroom is a close bedroom to my heart because we gave it a very luxurious feel, number one. Number two, the flooring done in the bedroom is again a reused process. I assembled all the wastage of wood I had, I put it onto a, a pattern, I formed a tile and I laid it all over. And it brought a beautiful interaction when you walk in. It's not just some other flooring you're walking in, you're walking into a floor that has been derived from the garbage and presented to you beautifully and you feel very happy about it. There are two pergolas in the house. Generally, if you see a pergola, it's just a straight pergola with post and beams. So what we tried in this is, we wanted one pergola to be massive, strong, yet vulnerable on how is it standing like that. So that's the entrance pergola we're talking about. We use two by eights and two by 10 elements of uh, WRC again. And we placed cross-sectional elements line by line at every structural 16 in centers. And uh, the main part about the entrance pergola is that it cantilevers from the main structure. So that proves a very big point that how strong my structure is. And the pergola in the backyard where I've used it more of a dining space and outdoor space where you can just relax. I've made it very natural, just a general cross-sectional pergola. But I've added a feature where you can go up from the loft and you can actually go out on the pergola. So, you know, it gives you a sense of stability and also it shows you how durable and strong my material and construction is. For the structures, we use a wood called SPF, Spruce Pine and Fur, that has a very high structural grade property, whereas it's also light to move around. So that is used for the structure for the whole paneling of the house. And then on the exteriors where I have exterior applications like rain and water and all of that hitting on it, I go with cedars, say western red cedar and yellow cedar. These two are my champions of exterior usage. So when I say champions of exterior usage, I say they are very well with the adopting property with sun, rain and termites. Western red cedar has a natural secreting oil from it that gives it natural protection against termite. And keeping that aside, we do consider in many architectural details where the termite infestation and the longevity of the material is involved. So that is on the exterior. Now on the interior, I have used in Douglas fir and I've used in Western Hamlock. So these two uh, wood, when I say, they are very delicate and very beautiful to use to. And the chair I'm sitting on, the bar you see behind me, the breakfast table is all made of that. It's very lightweight, very 
beautiful once you polish the grains shine out very nice Canadian wood has always been a very strong supporter and a believer of spreading the knowledge of sustainable building in India and i would take it as sustainable building whereas they actually promote their wood that is from an engineered forest and i found that aspect of it very 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 nice because see if i am using wood and i call myself sustainable and i call myself green i make sure that my paper trails that go back to the source point are exact and stand for it and canadian wood gives me that support canadian wood gives me the know how on how to do this i am very comfortable using their products as their products are very nice durable and also i feel comfortable using them in my architectural designs